We were having that conversation about uh, experience at quarterback a few months ago during a call-in show, and it just got me to wondering, and I thought, you know what, wait a minute. Yes, experience is extremely important. Yes. Do yeah. you want experience at any position, especially quarterback? Yes, obviously. Game reps against live bullets, quality competition. You, you, anybody that um, takes in learning and can develop is obviously going to be a better player the more experience they get. Sure, you want experience. But at the same time, you know, uh, again, we were having this conversation a few months ago, and I said, well, well wait a minute a second. And I start thinking through the national championship games. And I went through, Andrew, the last eight national championship games. So that's 16 teams that advanced to the national championship game. Out of those 16, eight of them had starting quarterbacks who had basically no experience going into that season. Eight of the 16, no experience going into that season. Yeah, and I think, you know, you, you build up experience on, you know, once – once you get maybe four or five games in, you've seen you've seen some things, and you 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 start to, you know, build some comfort and settle in. And especially for a guy, for guys like Haynes King and, and Zach Calzada, the other point I would make too on um, two actually on on Zach King uh, on Haynes King is um, they're going up a pretty against a probably a pretty darn good defense in practice, and you know that's going to test them and and and. You know, I think that's going to make you grow up a lot quicker. Just going up against that defense every single day, you're not going to face a defense like that every single time you go out with that much experience and veteran leadership and and guys on the front that are are generating pressure. Um, and then just in terms of with Haynes King being able to handle the spotlight, another good point that gets brought up quite often with him is. Um, he had a lead. I mean, he led a Longview team that had not won a state championship in a very, very long time here in Texas to a state championship. Um, and not only did he do that, he he had to deal with a lot of pressure during his time in high school. Probably more pressure than a lot of high school quarterbacks have to deal with, to be honest with you. Um, I remember a conversation that we had um, at the beginning of his senior year, and I asked him if you know the pressure was kind of off having your commitment out the way, and he said, well, not really. He said, and he kind of pointed to the crowd and said, you know, I play, I play in front of one of the, you know, in front of a legendary coach that happens to be my dad. So he's kind of got the pressure of, of that and the pressure of, you know, playing in front of a packed stadium every single night. You know, they've, he's kind of been in the spotlight for a while now and, and had to learn how to deal with that and, and learn how to lead and, and get guys going. And so from that perspective, I think he's pretty comfortable in, in a big stage because, you know, he's been on one of the biggest stages. In, in high school football in Texas. And um, I think that's prepared him well, um, if he is the guy. And um, but yeah, you're right. I mean, once once you get four or five games into the year, I think you start to settle in. And, you know, it's just about, it's just about experiencing different things. He's going to see things in the Alabama game that he's never experienced before. And it's how quickly do you learn? How quickly do you rebound? And, you know, can you game plan around certain stuff to keep him out of bad situations? You know, that – if we're talking specifically about the LSU and the Alabama game and, you know, kind of the trap game at Missouri, um, the running game is going to be huge to keep them in, you know, good yardage situations. And that's probably something when you've got a first-year quarterback, you have to have a good run game to keep them in good situations because if they're in third and 10, third and 11, third and 12 against Alabama, they're going to be in trouble that week to so, you know if they can stay in third and fours and third and fives and third and threes. And that was also something they did really well last year. They kind of went under the radar when they had one of the, you know, one of the nation's best third down offenses, they were in manageable third down situations. Those are all great points. And just to extend on one of those points. Yeah. If, if you're in a situation with a program and a team, like we're talking about, we're talking about national championship contenders, so your team is so good that as long as you don't mess things up, yeah. yeah, you can you have that buffer of just managing the game, doing the right things, and um, and being able to do that. Uh, sorry about that. And uh, basically, yeah, manage the game, don't mess it up, and your team's probably going to be good enough to win all of its games or maybe lose one, but you're going to grow and mature and you're going to be a different player at the end of the year when it's time to win 
championship impacting games in November into December than you were in September. Number one, number two, that, um, Basically, I, I just think that in this era of these Elite 11 camps and all the prep work that these quarterbacks in particular do, but all these players, and especially in the passing game, that they are so much more developed physically and mentally in, in the reps that they get with all these, again, the, this elite type of instruction that they get um, going into college football that they're just so much more prepared and they've received so many reps at an elite level against elite competition with elite coaching uh, than they were decades ago. Yeah. And I think our, our um, beat writer on the site, Jeff Tarpley had a great point a couple of days ago um, when talking about who, who's going to win the quarterback job and, and all that. And, and his, one of his points was it's going to go to the guy who makes lit, you know, the least amount of mistakes. Um, because that's kind of what you're relying on as a guy that's not going to turn the ball over and not going to put you in bad situations. And I thought he was 100% correct on that. They're not looking for a guy who's going to go out there and throw for 500 yards per game. But, you know, if, if they can protect the ball, make good decisions, not turn it over, um, not put their defense in bad spots, that's the guy that's going to end up winning the job. And to your second point, um, it's interesting you mentioned that about the you know just how much prepared more prepared they are because before the year Jimbo Fisher or a couple of weeks ago Jimbo Fisher was actually over at coaching school um, down here in Texas talking to Texas high school football coaches and he just talked about how much more prepared kids are coming into college nowadays from just a holistic standpoint um, because to his point they you know they they are required to do so much more and. In high school right now you know they've got so much media focus on them following their recruitments following what they're doing in high school um so they're having to do a lot of interviews they're having to you know engage with the media um learn the plays go to different camps go to seven on seven go to elite 11 and so they especially at the quarterback position come in much more mature um and i i think that's a that's a that's a fair point is, you know, they just come in and you're not just seeing it at A&M. You're seeing it at, um, you're seeing it at places like LSU. If you've, if you've heard the buzz coming out of LSU, Garrett Nussmeyer has come right in and, and he's, you know, pretty much grabbed hold of that number two spot at the quarterback position. And they've, they've raved about him. And, you know, I think you've seen it at other places as well. JJ McCarthy and Mich and Michigan, I think they'd be very happy with him. So guys are just coming in a lot more ready to play at this point. 